Hey there, so Arrow's made their big announcement actually uh, a few hours back and I just got to check on it now because I just got online and uh, went onto my Facebook and that and I realized that uh, Arrow put out their next uh, quarter of uh, Blu-rays and, uh, the, and DVDs that they have coming out. There's some steelbooks, there's a uh, digipack with a hundred page booklet and uh, Ned the Creepy Monster Squad, I think this is going to really interest you. Uh, first up, we have Sisters, the Margot Kidder film. Uh, that's uh, put out by Criterion. I would love to see uh, what they're going to do with it on uh, on Arrow. I'm a big fan of Arrow, so that'll be uh, interesting. That's one I may pick up. I've been waiting on that one, and it's be, it'll depend on the features and which version I get. Ah. Now... <coughs> Life at a Balance, Life in Transformation, Paul Quat, uh, the Quatsi films. They have the those coming out. Next up is one that I have little to no interest in, but uh, I'm sure that there's going to be some uh, action fans that are going to be excited about this. It's uh, the Delta Force with uh, Chuck Norris and Lee Marvin. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the Delta Force when it came out. Who knows? Uh, this one, however. This one excites me, and uh, I am hoping that Scream Factory uh, does a release of this, but I'm not going to take the chance. I may actually grab this one, and grab this one as uh, soon as possible when it comes out. It's one of my favorite Vincent Price films, and it's uh, Theater of Blood is being put out on Blu-ray by Arrow Video, and it is being put out on Blu-ray, and there's going to be a Theater of Blood steelbook as well. And if anybody uh, doesn't check out uh, the uh, UK Steelbooks, they really should. They put out some really awesome Steelbooks in the UK. The Beast Within uh, from Screen, uh, Screen Factory, that one, and it's coming out by Arrow Video. So I haven't bought The Beast Within from Screen Factory yet, so I will check the uh, features on this one to see which one is the one to go for. The Pit and the Pendulum, of course, is coming out on Blu-ray in a normal edition and the steelbook and I've got the Pit and the Pendulum I think but that, if you don't man the steelbook looks amazing it looks, I mean really seriously google it, the steelbook for the Pit and the Pendulum looks amazing next up is Marcello Mastriani's The Assassin or The Assassino and here's one thing, I'm Canadian, I grew up this movie so uh, this is a must have for me Porky's is actually coming out and of course there's going to be a steelbook but honestly I like the actual cover of the case more than I like covered the steelbook I think the steelbook looks kind of cheap and cheesy looking and I've got one of them on Blu-ray but I don't have the second and I would double it for this the complete Dr. Fives is going to be a digibook pack coming out from Arrow Video with uh, apparently a bunch of features that haven't been announced yet but it has been announced that there is a 100 page booklet with the Dr. Fives. So that's going to be really interesting. And of course, there's Milano Calibro 9. And this one, I'm sure, is going to excite a lot of people. Uh, it's kind of a cult film that a lot of people got into. I'm okay with it. It's not something that excites me, but I know this is going to blow people up over online because I've heard so many people uh, requesting that this one come out from Scream Factory and from Arrow and from any genre place that, uh, that we're doing genre type films and uh, I don't know maybe I need to take give it a second look it's been a long time since I've seen the movie but uh, The Burbs, uh, Tom Hanks film The Burbs uh, kind of quirky film is coming out and uh, I'll say one thing the steelbook of The Burbs is, is awesome and the last one is Camera Obscura the Valoran Boraski collection. So that's what's coming out from Arrow Video. Which ones are you excited about seeing? Me personally, I'm a big classic horror fan, so the complete Dr. Fives is one that I'm really interested in picking up. Uh, Porky's. Uh, I have a collection of 80s like uh, movies that I grew up with. That's be interesting to pick up. Uh, the Theater of Blood is definitely very interesting. 
and uh, sisters, depending upon which uh, version of it has the best features. I know Criterion will have the best print of sisters, that's for sure. But uh, I'm a feature whore, so uh, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Probably the best uh, announcement from uh, Arrow video in a long time. Uh, the last time around was pretty good with Phantom of the Paradise and, uh, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Those were two fantastic uh, releases that are coming. And uh, that are, are, are they, yeah, I know i got to get Phantom of the Paradise. And if I can find some, somewhere for a decent price, I'd love to get that Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 one. Looks incredible. Film Game Junkies, uh, tell me about it. Uh, you do all the Arrow stuff. If you haven't checked out Film Game Junkies channel, by the way, guys, uh, Film Game Junkies has a great channel. He's a great reviewer. He reviews a lot of the Arrow stuff. And not only that, but he also uh, uh, got a reviews, uh, does some written reviews as well for his blog and for other blogs and stuff. So uh, definitely give him a, give him a, check, give him a check and uh, like, watch, subscribe. And, uh, I am so tired, but I got to do this tonight, guys. This is my last test. So... I was hoping I would be finished with this, but no, there's one more set of slides that I've got to go through and study, and I've been looking over it, and don't think it's going to be a problem, but it's kind of boring. So yeah, yeah, I'm just talking about it. So let me know which arrow ones you want to pick up. I'm kind of excited that some of these, you know, if I'm going to get the Quatsy ones, there's only two of them, is there three? Hmm. Uh, if I was thinking of those, I'd probably get those from Criterion. But I understand that uh, Arrow, you know, Arrow Academy is putting it in this. It's damn good. I got some Arrow Academy stuff. I got their Cloud Chabral collection, and it's really, really good. Uh, I don't think there's any features on it, but it's just uh, good to have all the all his films like there. Not all his films, but, you know, what I mean. A lot of his films. Uh, Theater of Blood is incredible. Vincent Price, Dana Rigg, Ian Hendry. Uh, just an amazing film. I love Shakespeare. I grew up, uh, you, know, was, you know, acting, so... Uh, I did a lot of Shakespeare in school and out of school. Uh, and it's really cool to see that one there. And Beast Within, i not sold too much on the cover. It's okay. Uh, the artwork's kind of cheesy, but I think uh, you know, The Pit and the Pendulum has a unique, very different artwork. And uh, if I was going to get that one, if I had to get that one, but I think that's on my uh, Vince Price set. Uh, I would go for the steelbook. The steelbook's pretty freaking amazing. It's almost worth double dipping for. Uh, the Assassin, I... Honestly, I don't remember this one that well. And my better half, who is, of course, uh, uh, in, from Morocco, and, you know, lives fairly close to Paris, and a lot of their uh, films and television came from there, she would know this movie right away, and she'd better tell me whether this one I'm going to pick up or not. Uh, Porky's, that's a, that's a certainty. Not the steelbook. I hate steelbook. It looks horrible. Uh, complete Dr. Vibes, very retro looking cover, really like that. I mean, I know Calibro, I think I got that. And the Burbs. Sell me on the Burbs, guys. Sell me on the Burbs. Thanks a lot for watching, and for me right now, it's uh, seriously time for tea.